Picture this. It's a quiet evening, the room bathed in the soft glow of the television screen. You sink into the comfortable embrace of your favorite armchair, a bag of popcorn nestled in your lap. The year is 1962, and you're about to embark on a cinematic journey like no other. A movie title flashes across the screen, The Longest Day. Your heart quickens in anticipation, not quite knowing what to expect. Little did you know that this moment would etch itself into your memory forever. As the film unfolds, the epic tale of D-Day unfolds before your eyes. The sweeping vistas, the thundering battle scenes, the stellar ensemble cast, it all comes together to create an unforgettable experience. You're drawn into the harrowing stories of the soldiers, the courage and sacrifice that marked that fateful day in history. Each scene is etched into your mind, a symphony of emotions that keeps you riveted from start to finish. Perhaps it was John Wayne's iconic performance that left an indelible mark on you, or maybe it was the poignant portrayal of bravery against all odds. Whatever it was, The Longest Day became more than just a movie, it became a part of your cinematic soul. Now, as we dive into some fascinating tidbits about this classic, prepare to relive those memories and discover new facets of a film that has stood the test of time. So, grab your popcorn once again, because we're about to journey back to The Longest Day, a cinematic masterpiece that continues to captivate hearts to this day. The Longest Day, released in 1962, is a classic war film that tells the story of the D-Day landings during World War II. Based on Cornelius Ryan's book of the same name, the film depicts the massive Allied invasion of Normandy on June 6, 1944. What sets this movie apart is its unique approach, presenting the events from multiple perspectives, including American, British, German, and French characters, offering a comprehensive view of the monumental operation. The film features an ensemble cast, with iconic performances by actors like John Wayne, Richard Burton, Sean Connery, and Robert Mitchum, among others. Each character brings depth and authenticity to their respective roles, contributing to the film's lasting impact. The Longest Day stands out for its realistic portrayal of the chaos and bravery of D-Day, with impressive large-scale battle sequences that were groundbreaking for their time. It captures the tension and heroism of the soldiers involved in this pivotal moment in history. This cinematic masterpiece has left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent war films and setting a high bar for historical accuracy in the genre. Its portrayal of the bravery and sacrifice of the soldiers who participated in D-Day continues to resonate with audiences, making it a timeless classic. In summary, The Longest Day is a historically significant and influential war film that brings to life the events of D-Day through a multi-perspective narrative, memorable characters, and groundbreaking filmmaking. Its impact on popular culture endures to this day, cementing its place in cinematic history. In 1962, The Longest Day hit the screens with a hefty price tag of $10 million, making it the most expensive black and white movie of its time, a title it held until Skindler's List in 1993. This epic war film chronicled the D-Day landings during World War II. The movie spared no expense in recreating the historic events on screen. One fascinating detail about the film is the use of crickets, small clicking devices used by soldiers to identify each other during the invasion. These crickets, both in the film and during the actual D-Day, were crafted by J. Hudson & Co., a well-known whistle manufacturer from Birmingham, England. Remarkably, this company is still in operation today, renowned for its The Acme Whistles. They continue to produce exact replicas of the crickets using the original tooling preserving a piece of history. Additionally, The Longest Day featured four Spitfires in a strafing sequence. These Spitfires, bearing serial numbers MH-415, MK-297, MK-923, and MH-434, were all former Belgian target tugs converted into M9S. Impressively, as of the latest information, all four aircraft remain in existence. They were assembled and coordinated by Pierre Loris, a former Free French Spitfire pilot who flew with the 340 Squadron, a Free French unit in the RAF. These Spitfires were adorned with 340 Squadron markings for the film. Notably, Spitfire MK923 was owned by Oscar winner Cliff Robertson from 1963 to 1998. The Longest Day not only brought a crucial moment in history to the silver screen, but also left behind intriguing stories about its production. 
from its record-breaking budget to the enduring legacy of the Crickets and Spitfires. It stands as a testament to the dedication and craftsmanship of those who worked on the film. And that's a brief look at the remarkable details behind The Longest Day, a cinematic journey back to D-Day, where history came alive on the big screen. In 1962, the movie The Longest Day brought the epic tale of D-Day to the big screen. It's notable for several reasons. First, the film boasted an estimated 23,000 troops from the US, Britain, and France for its production. Strikingly, the Germans only appeared as officers with speaking roles. At the time, France was involved in the Algerian War, yet they contributed 1,000 commandos to the film. This collaboration of forces on and off the screen highlighted the international effort that was D-Day. Second, The Longest Day had military consultants and advisors who had actually participated in D-Day. These experts brought real-life experience to the set, ensuring accuracy in the film's portrayal of the historic event. Lastly, the decision to film in black and white served multiple purposes. It allowed the incorporation of archive footage, giving the movie a documentary feel. Additionally, it helped some of the stars appear younger, staying faithful to the historical timeline. The Longest Day remains a classic war film that not only honored the heroes of D-Day, but also showcased international cooperation in its making. In the 1962 movie The Longest Day, several interesting facts emerge. One notable tidbit is that former U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower was considered for the role of himself in the film. He expressed his willingness to take on the role. However, it was ultimately decided that makeup artists couldn't sufficiently age him down to portray his World War II self convincingly. Additionally, many of the beach scenes in the movie were filmed in Corsica, a Mediterranean island known for its picturesque landscapes. The decision to use Corsica for these scenes added authenticity to the film's portrayal of the D-Day landing. Another interesting aspect of the production was that the Spitfire planes used in the film needed to be fitted with new Rolls-Royce engines before they could be used. This attention to detail ensured that the aircraft's appearance and performance were accurate for the time period depicted in the movie. These behind-the-scenes details shed light on the dedication to historical accuracy in The Longest Day, making it a noteworthy classic war film. In the 1962 movie The Longest Day, Adolf Hitler doesn't make an appearance. In reality, during the actual D-Day landings, he took a sleeping pill and slept through the start of the campaign. To give you an idea of the movie's scale, producer Daryl F. Zanuck commanded more troops than any of the generals during the actual D-Day campaign. Kurd Jurgens played General Blumentritt in the film. Interestingly, in 1944, Jurgens had been sent to an internment camp in Hungary as a political unreliable. The Longest Day is a remarkable film that captures the events of D-Day with historical accuracy. It's known for its attention to detail and the dedication of its cast and crew. These intriguing facts add depth to the movie's history and the people who brought it to life. As we bid adieu to our journey through the epic 1962 masterpiece, The Longest Day, let us pause for a moment to reflect. This cinematic gem, a tapestry woven with valor, sacrifice, and the indomitable spirit of humanity, beckons you to delve into the annals of history and explore the profound impact it may have had on your cinematic soul. Consider the vivid portrayal of D-Day, a day etched in the annals of history with blood, sweat, and tears. The movie's stellar ensemble cast brings to life the myriad stories of bravery, resilience, and camaraderie. It transcends the boundaries of time, allowing you to step into the boots of soldiers from various nations, feel their fear, and admire their unwavering determination. Perhaps, like a finely aged wine, The Longest Day has accompanied you through the years, a trusted companion in your cinematic journey. Or maybe, it has ignited a newfound passion for history and a deeper appreciation for the sacrifices made during World War II. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts and cherished memories of this iconic film. How did it touch your heart? What characters or scenes left an indelible mark on your soul? We're eager to hear your perspective and connect with fellow enthusiasts who've been moved by this cinematic masterpiece. In closing, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for joining us on this cinematic exploration. Your time and interest are treasures, and we hope that the longest day continues to inspire and resonate with you in the days to come. So, without further ado, let the conversations and reflections begin. 
Share your thoughts and memories, and let's celebrate the enduring legacy of The Longest Day, a true testament to the human spirit. With warm regards.